hey here's how to install steam on a chromebook i'll go ahead and click on your chrome browser once you've clicked on that go ahead and type in store dot steam don't forget to smash the like subscribe and bell button and comment down the game you're trying to play with steam steam powered dot com and hit enter once you've typed out just wait for it to load now we want to go ahead and click on in the install steam button at the top right hand side once you've clicked on that it says install steam however it says also available on windows on mac and on linux we want to go ahead and click on this linux side now once we've clicked on that we want to go ahead and save this in our downloads now once it's done downloading click on show and folder and then we want to go ahead and right click this file now click copy and then we want to go ahead and paste this in our linux files now once you've pasted this right click this again and rename it now we want to just rename it to steam take away the steam latest and then just make a steam and hit enter now once you're done with that we can move to the next step now first things first we want to go ahead and type in cart slash etc slash debian underscore version now this code is to ensure that our debian version is at least version 10 and above minus 11.7 that means that i'm in the safe zone next you want to go ahead and type in sudo space dpkg space double hyphen add another hyphen type in architecture and then go ahead and type in bring another space and type in i386 and hit enter this is to ensure that even if your chromebook is a 32-bit chromebook it still works for you now we want to go ahead and type in sudo space apt space updates and then hit enter now once that is done you want to go ahead and type in sudo space apt space upgrade that makes it upgrade now go ahead and hit y when you're prompted and wait for it to finish now once that is done just go ahead and click the link down in the description to get to my website once on my website go ahead and copy this last code which says sudo apt and ends with zenity just go ahead and copy this ctrc and right click it into the terminal and hit enter now it's going to ask you y slash n just go ahead and hit y and then hit enter again and wait for this to finish excellent now once that is done we want to click in there again and then this time around we want to go ahead and type sudo space dpkg space hyphen i another space and type in this is the most important part so pay attention we named our file steam.deb so go ahead and type in steam.deb if you named it anything differently use that here good now on our first run you're going to see that it's going to give us an error telling us that dpkg was prevented from running so what we're going to go ahead and type now is sudo space apt space double hyphen fix another hyphen and type broken and then hit space and type install and hit enter now it's going to fix all of that so hit y and then hit enter good now once that is done we want to go back and type the code because it was unable to run due to the error so go ahead and type in sudo space dpkg space hyphen i and then type in steam now, if you're interested in making some extra income using your chromebook here is honey gain it allows you to share your internet and in return you get money now if you sign up with my link down in the description or on my website you get a three dollar gift to begin with now if you want a tutorial on how to get this working on your chromebook because it's an apk check the description for the video or check the link up to steam.deb if that was the name of your file and hit enter Good. now this time around it ran perfectly now the last code here is steam space fixed v blank underscore mode equals zero and then hit enter and wait for it to load now as you can see it tells us that the package cache seems to be out of date so we want to go ahead and hit enter and wait for that to update now it says press return to proceed with the initial installation so just hit enter again and wait for that to start now hit y when it prompts you and then hit enter again now all we have to do is wait for this to finish installing now it says press return to continue so just go ahead and hit enter once again and wait for it to load now at this point it's going to update and install steam so all we have to do is just wait good now a pop-up window is going to come and it's going to say not responding to the steam web helper so just go ahead and choose restart steam or leave it there and click ok 
Good. Now we're not done with the installation yet. We need to sign up and sign in and continue over there. But before that, go ahead and click your launcher and then you're going to see that Steam is now an app that you could use or click on form your launcher. However, I'm going to sign in and I'll see you guys on the other side for the full installation process. And we're going to wait for about 30 seconds to one minute for Steam to load. It's loading in the background as you can see on the left hand side. Once that is done, you can now see options on your screen now. Now we want to go ahead and go to the top left hand side. We want to go ahead and right click this or left click that. And then we want to go ahead and click on settings. Now this is going to launch up or launch us into this space. Once here, just go ahead and click on interface and then scroll all the way down to the place that says enable GPU accelerated rendering in web views requires restart. Go ahead and click this out and then click on restart now. Good. Now once you're done with that, you're going to see that Steam has perfectly loaded up. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a game called Underway. So I'm going to type that in my search bar and wait for it to load up. Now I'm going to click on free. It's a free game basically, but I'm going to use it as an example. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down to whatever game you want to play and click on play game. Now this is the most crucial part of this whole video. As you can see, it says an error occurred whilst launching this game and valid platform. So I'll click on close. Now that is not um, that big of an issue. I'm going to click on add to library and then I'm going to click on okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the library at the top here and I'm going to click on, let's say, home or collection. Either one of them is fine. Now, once I click on the underway, you're going to see that it's grayed out. It's grayed out, meaning that it's not available for Linux. And so this is the trick that I'm going to show you guys that is going to work for you. So pay attention. Now we want to go back to the left top hand side and click on the Steam icon and go ahead and click on settings. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and click on compatibility and then you want to enable Steam Play for all other titles. Go ahead and enable this option and then restart Steam immediately. Now, once you've restarted Steam, just go back to your library and click on home. And I can go back to Underway and you can see that now it allows me to install it. Now, pay attention to this part as well. Go ahead and click on the certain icon at the right hand side and then click on either of these but properties will be best once you've clicked on properties go ahead and click on compatibility and then click on the force the use of a specific steam play compatibility click on that and then you can go ahead and exit out of this once you're here we can click on install now it's going to ask you where you want to install it or whether you want to shortcut you can click any of them and just click on install but now it's done and it's verifying i can go ahead and click on that and go ahead and click on downloads here now as you can see you can see the Steam Linux runtime and you can see the Proton Experimental. Once that is done, it's going to get these two downloaded as well. As you can see at the bottom right hand side, it's downloaded all three of them. Hold on, we are not done just yet. Go ahead and click on Steam again and then click on Settings. Once there, go ahead and click on Compatibility and then go ahead and click on the Proton Experimental. Now, I'll prefer that you click on Proton 9.0.2. That might be best. However, you could also just stay on the experimental if that is fine for you. However, you can just go ahead and click out of this and then we can click play. So as you can see, I'm moving my character around. I can play with the normal arrow keys. Everything works just like on a Windows computer. So don't worry about that. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like, subscribe and bell button. Or if you had any issues with this video, just go ahead and comment it down. I'll be able to help you from the comment section. With that said, it's your boy GD7 Plays and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.